Of Harvard University caving to wokeness, reaping what they sow. After years of pressure from students, lawmakers, and other activists, Harvard University phasing out its massive endowment of investments in fossil fuels. In previous years, the university resisted, claiming, in addition to other reasons, that it did not want to use its endowment as a political tool. Right. In reality, they just didn't want to lose the money, of course, which is what they care about more than anything over at Harvard. Well, that all changed today when Harvard's president, Lawrence Bacow, sent a letter to students and faculty explaining that the Harvard Management Company, which manages the school's $42 billion endowment, has effectively divested its fossil fuel holdings. HMC has no direct investments in companies that explore for or develop further reserves of fossil fuels. Moreover, HMC does not intend to make such investments in the future. Bacow reiterating the leftist talking point that climate change is the most consequential threat facing all of humanity as the reasoning behind the divestment. In reality, it was just woke, cancel culture, threatening. They had to do it. Reacting to a decision in a series of tweets was the divestment movement's leader, Bill McKibben, who writes, The richest school on earth, which in 2013 pledged never to divest, has been forced to capitulate. I can't overstate the power of this win. It will reverberate the world around. We'll see about that. Best part about the story, though, watching Harvard get a taste of its own medicine. Forced to do something they did not want to do because of the woke beast they helped create. Finally, this week, Nicki Minaj... The rap star reminded the world of MSNBC's Joy Reid's homophobia as part of their Twitter feud. And last night, Reid herself decided to add some fuel to the fire and a real unforced error. While continuing her coverage of Minaj's vaccine comments, she brought up Fox host Tucker Carlson's recent defense of Nicki Minaj and how Carlson wants to do a deep investigative report on Minaj's friend who says he suffered negative side effects from the COVID vaccine and lost his fiance as a result of his claimed enlarged testicles from the vaccine, which is something we haven't verified. But her comments about Carlson's desire to do this investigation insinuated something else entirely. Take a listen. I think he should do that. I actually want to see that investigative report. I want him to go down there like he went to Victor Orban, and I want him to talk with that gentleman and find out why it is that the that his you know future wife left him and just how large these melons were. I think he should go and find out. Right. It's an investigative right. report that we need. Go and do it, Tucker. I know you want to. You really, really want to. She'd go on after that to say, oh, I better stop before I get in trouble because she's trying to insinuate that Tucker Carlson is a homosexual and she's using that as some kind of an insult. I know you want to. I know you really, really want to. In the words of our friend Curtis Houck, very on brand for a known homophobe like Joy Reid. But of course, she gets to keep her job. Nobody else would, but she does. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.